Hi, I'm Vervi and today I'll be following a productive schedule that ChatGPT recommends to me. So, let's get into it. <laughs> It is 5.32 a.m. and today I'll be following ChatGPT's productive schedule for me. Except I cannot open my eyes, so um, let's get up right now and make that schedule, in fact. Okay, so I have fun news for us. First of all, I didn't sleep too much tonight, um, and that's not good because in our Growing Together Club, we're literally reading the book Why We Sleep by Matthew Walker. Growing Together Club is... Oh, new message. <laughs> a Growing Together Club is my very own self-improvement club. We currently have... Last time I checked, it was over 176 individuals, so members of our club. How exciting. Every single month, we cover a different topic, and essentially, we're growing together. That's the whole point, and obviously, the club is guided by me, your very own life coach, Miss Farabee. <gasps> okay, so just as a little synopsis, right? And we read one book per month, also important to know. And also, I slather myself in alcohol four every night. It's part of my night routine, so if I shine, you know why. Shall, shall we do the schedule? <laughs> So nervous. Oh, and another fun news is I'm gonna be actually here. Let me show you. I'm gonna be recording this on my phone as well because, as an influencer content creator, I right now have to be making three videos simultaneously. Live that love. <laughs> Why am I so hyper? It's funny. <laughs> I have my schedule. Also, if you don't know, I love time management. I love effective time management. So the next step I'm gonna do is literally calendar everything for the day so I know exactly what I'm doing. I've been everywhere, oh, looking for someone. My calendars typically look like this, a bunch of colors and filled to the brim because, well, I love to stay organized personally. But that's just me. Look at this, beautiful, beautiful. I have 10 minutes before I need to leave for Pilates class, so, Let's get into this. Yum. First task is to hydrate, and actually that's exactly what I do in the mornings um, after I brush my teeth, obviously. So it's fine. Right now, however, I'm going to adjust the schedule just a little bit because I do have a Pilates class at 6.30 a.m. And at 6.30 a.m. I'm supposed to eat a healthy breakfast, so I'll do that afterwards. How about I change, yeah? <laughs> I don't think this is a Pilates attire. <laughs> From what I know, Pilates, Pilates, it's always plural, I guess, I think, I don't know. Can you tell it's my first time at Pilates? Now you can, <laughs> now you definitely can. Okay, this is the before, just my uh, sleeping shirt. And this is the after. Here, let me show you in the mirror. All black outfits are the absolute best, but I do have a sports bar and guess it gets warm. I'm not sure if going to Pilates is actually the greatest idea because I have had yoga yesterday hot yoga and I'm really sorry from that but look at my Pilates socks look how cute they are they're the anti-grip ones I also use them for yoga okay it's actually time to go because I am kind of running away actually okay oh uh, mm, all right I do not think I'll be able to move tomorrow so um there's that <laughs> Okay, ready, look. Okay, hopefully this looks well. Okay, yeah. See? It always looks crazy at first, but then once it kind of settles down, it's just like a little volume boop. Okay, let's do my makeup. Okay, it is currently... Scared. 9.04 a.m. How am I... Let me close my window. My dog is... It's not my dog. It's the neighbor's dog. It's annoying. Hold on. Okay, now we can resume. Stay hydrated. It is 9.04. I am an hour and four minutes behind. I was supposed to start my personal or professional development at 8 a.m. But I just physically cannot because I was in the shower at that time. Right after having breakfast. And I guess the uh, chat GP schedule, it did not factor in the fact that I have to get ready. Sunscreen. This one is by Isn't Tree, by the way. And for moisturizer, I already applied that. I use Versed uh, Daily Brightening Moisturizer. I got it sent to me. Thank you, Versed. I love this. I've told you many times, but I absolutely love it. 
and also got this sent to me. <laughs> I love being an influencer. <laughs> I really do. No, it's so amazing. These are generally my favorite products. So, some of you may not know me from Instagram, because uh, chances are you probably see me on Instagram. If not, I'll introduce myself. Hello, my name is Vera V. I'm a life coach, the most productive person you know, and a self-improvement uh, lifestyle influencer. I love what I do very much. I'm self-employed, um, hence being a life coach and being an influencer. <laughs> I have my own business of life coaching and influencing. Yeah, we're on the same page. My skin is also looking really rough today for some reason. I don't typically break out ever, but look, one, two, three. And then these red dots, I always have them around my eyes when I wake up. And I don't know what it is. If you know, let me know in the comments because I, I do need assistance. So technically, yes, I am behind on time, but it is also all right because I am self-employed. Now, do I want to be on time on my own schedule? Obviously, because the, the earlier I start, the more I finish. And I love what I do very much. And there's so much work right now because it is launch. I've just launched my Tackling Procrastination mini guide yesterday. So obviously there's a lot of work that I've still yet to do. And it actually launches, launches uh, Saturday. So it is currently, what day of the week is it? Wednesday. <laughs> yeah. Thank you to all those who have already purchased it. I'm so excited for you too. Ugh, it's just absolutely amazing because procrastination is truly one of the most pressing issues it's the thing that stops us from being productive and reaching our goals and truly reaching our fullest potential. So in my Tackle the Procrastination mini guide, not only do you start working with your procrastination, but you'll be able to start noticing it each and every single time you procrastinate. And finally stop procrastinating and start doing because you'll have all the right tools and all the right knowledge to make that happen. Link is in the description. Today is genuinely the only day I'm excited to use concealer <laughs> because yeah, well anyway, uh, like a second ago, I really was struggling after Pilates. I did not expect it to hit me that heavy but my whole body hurts especially like under my arms over here those muscles Ugh. i'm in pain yay by nessa barnett i think it's her song i don't know dab 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 i think <laughs> it looks so funny right now it's time for me to come clean i've always underestimated pilates i went once to a class when i was like 15 so what no actually i was, I was probably like 14 so quick mass um three four years ago or so i'm 18 now so just for your information unless it is past march 26 that's my birthday so if it's past that time then i'm 19 wish me a happy birthday <laughs> anyway <laughs> imagine you watching this like five years from now Ooh, <laughs> that's crazy let me know how i'm doing like hopefully well i look so goofy right now anyway and for some reason every time i think about that class i'm like oh yeah it didn't really challenge me so i'm not really sure if it did or didn't but I thought Pilates was going to be easy. Girl, nor. It is very low impact. I did not sweat one single bit. But am I going to feel it tomorrow? I already feel it today, in fact. I want to do Pilates sometimes. I want to do like a class or two a month, you know? I'm very active with exercise. I have my own regimen. Right now, I'm working towards a goal in running 10 miles in 90 minutes by June 4th, 2023. That is successful goal setting for you. As a life coach, I apply my own life coaching methods and techniques, obviously. <laughs> I feel like the noise. I'm literally beating my face. This is so funny. Okay, maybe I put too much blush, but I don't know. I kind of like it when it's like that. So right now my training is focused on running. I don't have a trainer or like a coach. I just, I'm my own coach essentially. You know what I mean? But thing is, I can't really run right now because I have the most horrifying bubbles and blisters on my toes. Sorry if that's TMI, but it's, it's really bad. I'm thinking it's because of the shoes. I did like a little poll on my Instagram, at very nothing, follow me. A lot of uh, my fellow mutuals reached out and they said it was also the shoes for them. So maybe that's the case. So basically I work out every single day. I go to the gym, uh, weight training and weightlifting three times a week. Yoga like once or twice a week, trying to get back into it. Cause I love yoga, I'm very flexible. So I, it just it feels good and it's really hard also. <laughs> Hot yoga especially, I love that. It's like a sauna every single, mm, love. I was there yesterday. Um. And then I run three to four times a week when I don't have raging blisters. I started my mile off because I started this running journey three weeks ago, not a month yet. My mile time, my pace was 12 minutes per mile. Like I think it was 1230 actually. Now I'm down to 1130, 11 minutes per mile, which is good for me because I'm going really easy breezy. These are not moderate runs, you know, but I was talking to one of you actually, one of the fellow runners on my Instagram. Hi Ricky, if you're watching this, thank you so much. <laughs> And Ricky actually answered a lot of my questions about running and whatnot. And she said I should be focusing on mileage. I think she's a college runner and she wants to be a college running coach, which is really cool. I'm her first client, uh, first student. Yeah. <laughs> her first coachy. 
basically. So right now I'm trying to do that and I will as soon as my blisters recover. Hopefully soon, because I, I miss running. I've gained a big love for it. All right, it is 9.31 a.m. <laughs> I am off by one minute. It's okay, I'm almost done with makeup. I just, I'm just finishing up mascara. Look at the difference. Live, laugh, makeup. <laughs> just kidding. Obviously, I love my natural self so much and my makeup-free face, but because I'm on camera literally all day and I film myself <laughs> for a living, <laughs> I like to look good because I feel good. Anyway, something I want to say really quickly is that with ChatGPT, I only heard it about it maybe like a week ago. One of my social media coaching clients introduced it. I'm a life coach and a social media slash business coach. It's a lot, I know. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> uh, he mentioned something about it during a session. I was like, oh my gosh, Chad, you, like, that sounds really familiar, right? And then some days later, a video popped up of uh, at Sophia.sapiens. Her video of how she asked Chad GPT to generate a productive schedule for her and she followed it and that became a reel on Instagram. And I saw that and I was like, that's really cool. I want to try. Obviously I have my own schedule. I wake up at 5 a.m. typically, but it's pretty similar to what Chad GPT has recommended me. But I am just more flexible with it because sometimes things come up when you don't expect them to and I just get to it, you know, without getting distracted, obviously. Hope that makes sense. <laughs> that being said, I'm really excited for the rest of the day. There's a lot of work that needs to get done um, and ChatGPT has provided me with the opportunity to get that work done because I think if you calculate the total, it's going to be like eight hours of work. I'll probably do some afterwards, um, but yeah, I just love what I do so much. I'm a big fan. Oops. This eyeliner escaped me. <laughs> Work a lot, grind a lot, play a lot, have good life. <laughs> My advice for today. Okay, let's get into it. So today on the work agenda, first of all, I just did the mailing list to send an email to 1,535 subscribers. I'm excited. Secondly, I got to make a reel for my coaching account right now. If you don't know, I have two accounts. One is very nothing, right? For your daily self-improvement and motivation. The other one is for your daily guidance in life coaching and in business. So follow them both at very nothing and at verv.coach. After I make that reel, I gotta do my stories on my app Very Nothing main account. After that, I gotta do an interview with a magazine. I'm so excited. I've been putting it off for the longest time ever because things have been so busy. And then after that, I gotta outline and well, hopefully film, <laughs> start filming today, a bunch of courses. Uh, so yeah, the work never stops, but I love it so much. <laughs> I really like the, the uh, chat GPT schedule though. Like it's, it's cool. So far, so good. That's what I'm trying to say. Hello, it is 12.07 p.m. Work progress check-in. Also, I love being self-employed because I literally am working on my bed. <laughs> How fun is that? <laughs> so mailing list, I finished that. Obviously, it took me about an hour. Now, I did the coaching reel for the coaching account. Also, took me about an hour. It's so cool, though. I'm so beyond excited. What else did I do? <laughs> I created an offer for the, uh, for the, well, we're talking about the same thing. For tackling procrastination mini guide, I created the little offer story thing. Also took me, well, not an hour, but like here, I'll show you. This is what that looks like. And look, it's animated. So, um, well, yeah, you kind of get the point. Now, the biggest thing that I haven't yet gone to yet is my Instagram stories on at very nothing, the main account. And typically it's 12 p.m. already. My audience, you guys, if you're following me on Instagram, if not follow me, what are you doing? <laughs> Most active at 9 a.m. But I literally, I just could not. Some things are more urgent. So I'm going to do stories. And technically, but according to the chat GPT, I'm supposed to have a break right now for lunch. But I'm going to push it back an hour. I don't eat. I can't eat lunch at 12. Actually, I can. I'm really hungry. But priorities. Priorities. Okay. So I'll eat lunch soon. Honestly, content creating is personally my favorite part of what I do. Well, one of them. Obviously, one is working with people, um, groups, one-on-one -on -one clients, you know. That's why actually I did this video today on Wednesday because today I have no one-on-one -on -one life coaching sessions that need to be in place, you know. Had them literally all the days before, but today my schedule is clear. I cleared it out for you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> don't mind that. All right, back to work we go. Woohoo! Ow. <laughs> I should not have lifted my arm after Pilates. <laughs> it 
It is 1.54 p.m. right now and technically I'm drinking coffee. I'm caffeine sensitive by the way. Mm. I will not be sleeping tonight. Just kidding, hopefully I will. I tried to put some decaf beans into this, so we'll see. Anyway, right now I have the strongest urge to play piano or sing, but on my schedule it is to finish more work. Which I could be doing in the evening, but you know what, let's follow the schedule, I will finish more work. But the sad thing is, if I am following the schedule, I'll be working like two to three hours less than I usually do. Which kind of stresses me out. Look at me and my liquids. <laughs> What I really do like about Chad GPT's schedule and just following it for the day um, Because obviously I create my own usually as do we all right? Like in a sense that you don't follow a random schedule that an AI gives you, you know what I mean? I feel like having like a very set schedule it promotes boundaries almost because thing is usually during lunchtime for example I don't give myself an hour. I give myself like 25 minutes and then I work more which by the way I love like I love working. I cannot stress this enough. I love what I do. I love doing it but I feel like having those boundaries is pretty healthy because now I'm more rejuvenated to actually work. You know what I mean? So yeah, let's, one more hour, let's do it. I wanna finish outlining the courses I was telling you in the beginning about. Hopefully I'll get to finish that because it might take a while. <laughs> but I'm really excited. Gosh, I love what I do it. I feel so lucky to do it. Hopefully I won't go crazy though because coffee doesn't affect me well. It doesn't, I have, I have really bad stories. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Sipping. I was supposed to start my hobby almost 30 minutes ago, but some customer service stuff issues came up, so I had to resolve that. Sometimes things just pop up is what I'm trying to say, and that's okay. It's okay if things don't go always according to schedule, it's just fine. I'm good. <laughs> I haven't finished all I wanted to finish today though, which kind of sucks, but it's all right, I guess, because I have to move on and work on my hobbies and focus on that and set healthy boundaries. Which is always good. <laughs> look at me. Look at look at the self growth in this video. I'm all about self improvement. Oh, that's my live charge funny. Oh, perfect. Okay. Cool. <laughs> okay. Well, it's my time to go. I'll see y'all soon. <laughs> it's Friday. Just kidding. It's actually Wednesday. I don't know why I said Friday, but the harder I work, the luckier I get. It's a good day. Let me hear you. It's a good day. Hey, hey. I had coffee. I've told you guys. Why did you? Allow me to have coffee. <laughs> Just kidding. But okay, it is 5:24 p.m. The past 30 minutes have not been the most productive. I'll be honest. Where was I during the past 35 minutes? Right here. Right here. On the couch, chilling, killing, scrolling, and I was supposed to be doing my hobby. I know that. Obviously, my hobby got pushed back, according to the Chad GPT schedule because I was finishing up work an unprecedented circumstance came up but it's all good now I solved it but just to let you know as the most productive person you know I am not a lazy person by any means <laughs> not in my daily life not as a characteristic but I do have my lazy moments and that happens to the best of us and that's okay so now I'm gonna do my favorite thing <laughs> well one of my favorite things you know what time it is piano time hey Hey, hey, piano time, hey, hey, hey. When it's piano time, what do we do? Play, hey, 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 hey. Play, hey, 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 hey. When it's piano time, what do we do? We play, have fun, and live our best life. Play, have fun, and live our best life. What rhymes with life? A knife. But that's dangerous, do not use knives. No weapons. Knives are only for cutting salads. <laughs> yeah! Okay, but for real, I'm gonna play now for <sighs> probably until six. So that gives me what? Ah, oh, 32 minutes. That's not a lot, but yeah. Because I have to quit dinner at six and then go on with my schedule after that. Always remember, 10 minutes, 32 minutes, one hour is better than none. If you can play for three minutes, then go and play for three minutes. That's better than playing for zero. I'm gonna go to like a club. <laughs> this is my club. <laughs>
what's this hurry about you better that's vienna by billy joe and also something i was just working on is my original song for one of my goals for this year is to finish up my original song okay to finish it up and i don't know if i can okay i guess i'll show you obsessed with suspensions lately so I don't know but I'm working on original music and that's really good for me that's big progress because I did not lift a finger for a while and now we're here it's a new day the sun has risen once again and yesterday won't stay Do you want to listen to that song? Oh, you can't. Why? Because it's right here. Hello, it is 9.31 p.m. And I'm about to hit the hay. I'm so excited because tomorrow I'm waking up at 5 a.m. And I love waking up early so much. And I'm actually going to get a good night's sleep. <laughs> Unlike last night. Anyway, so I was supposed to do a self-care activity an hour and a half ago, but I was actually editing a reel. <laughs> Today, let's do a little reflection. I love reflecting personally, that's why I have two journals here. <laughs> I'm about to write your out. <laughs> I honestly, I journal so much, it's slightly concerning. I do it multiple times a day. Anytime I learn something new about myself or like a good insight, I always write it down, which is a good habit, I guess, I guess. <laughs> My favorite thing ever. So what was the highlight of today? The highlight of today has definitely been going to Pilates. I love that. Also working, I love that a lot. I got accomplished a lot today. Not everything I wanted, like everything except one thing basically, which is, it's good, you know, I'll finish it up tomorrow. What did I learn? I learned that I actually work a lot more than I thought I did. I was, I don't know. In my mind before this day, I was like, oh yeah, I work a lot, but like I didn't really know how much. But today I realized that I actually do work the whole day, pretty much. Yes, I have breaks and I have activities that I do and hobbies that I pursue and people I spend time with, but on weekdays, I pretty much work the whole day, you know? Very interesting, I did not know that about myself. So as a perfectionist, I'm oftentimes very hard on myself. <laughs> so this is just a good reason for me to just kind of chill out a little bit and be like, you know, I'm, I'm doing a good job, I'm doing good. Now, I always tell my coaching clients to celebrate their accomplishments and to note their progress, which is what we're gonna do right now. I got this uh, journal sent to me, it's a prom based by Inside Then Out. I am so excited. I have not written a single thing in it, and that's exactly what I'm going to do right now. So this is my self-care moment. I think everything I do is self-care, but that's for another video. All right. If you enjoyed watching this video, give this video a thumbs up. And if you did not, give it a thumbs down. Genuinely. Whatever you thought, react. Follow me on Instagram. Join a Growing Together Club. Get your tackling procrastination mini course now. Link will be in the bio. It's only $25 and it is completely life-changing. And it's been tried and successfully applied by 150 plus individuals from a growing together club because procrastination and tackling procrastination was a topic for January. So that's a story for another day. Subscribe and I'll see you in another vlog. Bye. 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 Bye.